My name is Sergio Schiffman with Procharger Superchargers. Uh, we're here at ProLine Racing doing testing and development on the, the new ProLine Hemi for the blown Z06 project. Um, you know, with the relationship between ProLine and uh, Procharger, you know, it's been around for several years. Many of our customers use the ProLine engines for, for quite a few years on their, on their race cars. But just in the last year or so, we've really tightened that relationship up and worked together on some testing and development of you know, of their engine program to work better with our superchargers and definitely has helped us considerably with, with some development on our supercharger side of things. Um, you know, it takes, it takes an engine builder like this and an a engine dyno like this to really further that, that horsepower level. You know, we can only test so much back at our facility. Um, you know, we have an engine dyno not to this caliber or, or have engines of this caliber you know, at our facility, but we, we can test to a certain degree. We have, you know, a test lab that tests uh, airflow and, you know, boost levels and, and, you know, we can test compressor stages, different airflow designs. But really, to get real world test results, it, it takes a, you know, an engine builder like this and a dyno facility like this to, to really take that to the next level. And, uh, you know, what we've learned here over the last year and especially just this week on this engine has been quite a, definitely a, Definitely a, a big positive. So, you know, right now on this engine, it has our F3R 136 model supercharger. It's driven with a uh, with a Alston uh, gear drive unit. Definitely very durable setup, and uh, and really what it takes to make these kind of power numbers. Um, you know, our our 136 has been around for several years. Uh, the you know it's a that 136 number. If, if anyone's curious, that's the measurement of the inducer diameter or the inlet diameter. Uh, the next evolution, something that we've been working on for a while, is our F3X 143. Of course, larger supercharger, larger housing, the next level of horsepower. You know, the 136 has, has been able to achieve 3,000 horsepower numbers, and that's the kind of numbers we've seen today, real close to that. Uh, the 143 is the next larger model. It's definitely capable of 3,500 horsepower range. And, and, you know, that's what it's going to take to be competitive. And, and some of these outlaw radial races and pro mods series and, and other forms of drag racing. You know, the you know the Pro Charger produces you know upwards of 50 pounds of boost on some of these engines. Uh, the 143 can even do beyond that number, even on some of these big high flowing cylinder headed Hemi's and 481X engines, it can flow those kind of numbers. Um, you know, this engine has our our new on this big red valve on the charge piping is our new Pro Charger Pro race valve. Uh, it takes place of the existing, you know, two valves that you've probably seen out there. You know, the, the two standard Pro Charger valves have been you know, out there for many years, and this single valve will now outflow what those two valves previously flowed. So it'll support over 3,000 horsepower worth of airflow with just a single valve. Uh, it's kind of nice that it is, we've designed into a, to a attach with a three inch hose and a V-band clamp so this valve can be mounted closer to the charge piping. So, for durability, it's much better than be mounted closer and takes up less space, less chance for cracking and vibration when you have tire shake and other violent things that these race cars will have. Yeah, and on the uh, Blown Z06 project, I think expectations at the track, you know, with the 136, exactly like what's on this engine dyno right now, I'm expecting it to definitely dip into the three second zone, you know, for eighth mile radial racing type setup for the radial versus the world class. Um, I think for sure first time out it should go 390s. Um, I think with a little testing and a little tuning, 380s are absolutely possible with the with the 136. Um, and then the 143 most likely will, will go on the car and, and who knows, we'll we'll take a run at the at the record and get down into the 370 zone. I think it's uh, absolutely possible a new you know a new car, a new build like that and, and Proline's engine power and, and what we've learned here recently on the Pro Charger side of things, we're going to make the airflow needed to, to make the horsepower.